I'm Grace and I am back with the third Black History Month video that we are doing for teens and adults. This one is going to be the shortest of the bunch, but remember, so many amazing Black authors out there. Please, please, please check out all of the recommended reading lists and go read all of these authors' other books. You will not regret it. So this one is going to be a little bit fantasy and sci-fi themed. We are starting with a book called The Bells. And yes, there is a sequel, do not fret. This one is by Danielle Clayton. And in this novel, we're introduced to a lavish world where beauty is only bought or sold by a bell. The keepers of the magic to make things pretty. But beauty really is only skin deep. It's kind of hard to describe this one because every time I tried, I started accidentally spoiling it and you do not want to be spoiled for this one. I promise you. Read it all the way to the end and definitely check out the sequel at the same time. It's called Everlasting Rose. All right, next up we have Early Departures by Justin A. Reynolds. He has also written another book called The Opposite of Always, both of which are contemporary realistic fiction with a sci-fi bent to them. So in this one, it's all about grief and saying goodbye and how hard that can be when you are the person left behind trying to figure out closure all by yourself. But the question is asked in this novel, what if you had the opportunity to bring back the person you loved? Not forever, but for long enough to have a better end. Justin really tackles all of this with such excellence that I just can't recommend this book enough, but have tissues close. And last but not least for this video, we have Legend Born by Tracy Dion, winner of the Coretta Scott King John Steptoe Award for this book. It was one of my favorite fall releases this past year. Uh, one of the very few good things about 2020, actually. So this is contemporary real world set fantasy about a high schooler who is doing a special program at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Her life is pretty normal until she sees a demon, meets a boy who calls himself a Merlin, and uses magic to wipe her memory, but fails, unlocking her own magic and a few buried memories besides. If you like fantasy, this is such an excellent and perfectly done novel. Tracy's world building is top notch and you are going to be on pins and needles waiting for book two but it's worth it to read book one before it comes out i promise if you want to check any of these out please go to redwoodcity.org library or click the link in the description happy reading